This is the Troy Built TB200. I just bought this from Lowe's. It's supposed to be a very good lawnmower. Uh, it says on the box that there are four steps to, in uh, setting this mower up, and I'm going to show you those four steps. You can see it's nicely packed in there. I'm going to go ahead and get this out of the box and show you how to set it up. Here's the instructions, and I guess that's the oil that uh, goes into the engine. You want to make sure you're going to put that oil in before you start this. Okay, it's out of the box, and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and unscrew these latch screws right here on both sides. I took the bolts out, and um, I'm going to raise this. Um, I'm going to raise this handlebar up, and then I'm going to put these uh, bolts back in with the wing nuts. Okay, that flips right over. And then you can see where there are maybe three holes there. I'm gonna put the bolt and the wing nut in this last one right here. Okay, I'm gonna put the bolts in. On this side, we're gonna put the wing nut on the outside this way. Let me just screw that in. Okay, just need to screw this in. And just make sure it's snug, not overly tight. And you can see where the bolt is flush with the metal there. Do that to the same side. just nice and snug just like that okay so that's the first step right there okay the next step is to go ahead and adjust this handlebar there are uh, there are two more bolts here you need to unscrew these take those out on both sides you gotta take them all the way out Oops. Take them all the way out. And then what you're going to do is you're going to pull this handlebar out. All the way until it meets up with the hole right here. That's going to meet up right there. So let me adjust this. And okay, I adjusted right this uh, handlebar. It came all the way out, and then all you need to do is just put these pins back in. And I don't know if you can see that, but those holes line up. Just put those pins back in, and then screw it down, and do that to both sides. Okay, this is the other side. Make sure the hole lines up, push the pins through, screw it in. Now, this is very easy setup. If I was able to do this holding my camera on one end and then doing all this with my other hand, it'd be a lot easier with two hands, but it's that simple. Okay, so we're gonna move on to the engine now. Um, I, I bought this mower mainly because, well, it was on sale, but one of the neat features that it had is uh, this right here. You can uh, connect your garden hose to that and then when you turn it on you can leave the mower running and it washes the deck on the inside. It's a pretty cool feature. Anyway, back to the engine part. <clears throat> this mower is not shipped with any oil inside the engine. There might be like a trace of some kind of oil that's in there just for shipping but you have to fill it with uh, oil and it comes with um, its own oil so you're gonna go ahead and empty this entire contents uh, inside here okay I'm gonna try to videotape this while I'm filling this with oil just go ahead and dump the entire container of oil in here try not to make a mess That's all it is. Yep. Okay, so I'm just gonna check the oil, just make sure that there's uh, enough oil in there. I went ahead and filled it up, so there should be, but I'm just gonna go ahead and check this. Mm, I don't 
know if you can see that, but oil is registering on the dipstick there. So we're good. So the instructions say to check that the spark plug boot is already secure on the spark plug. In my case, it was. It's it's right there, and it's already firmly attached there to the spark plug. So what we can do there. is just to go ahead and fill this up with um, fresh fuel. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and fill it up. I'm not going to hold my my phone and record what's happening. I'm just going to go ahead and be safe and fill this up, and I'll get back to you in just a second. Okay, so what I wanted to do is just to show you one more thing, and that is to pull this starting cable up, and then you're going to secure that in the latch right here. So if I could just do this, like that. And then just go ahead and tighten down this wing. Now, I have to admit, I usually don't look at instructions for things like this, but to put this bag together, to put this uh, piece inside the bag, I didn't quite understand what was going on, so I looked in the instructions, but that didn't help either. What you've got to do is you're going to have this metal tab on the outside, and then you're going to peel back this inside piece, and you're going to wrap it around and do that all the way around do this all the way around until you so there's the top part that's snapped into place you gotta kinda have to peel that back and then put the metal in and now I'm gonna just work my way around here until I've got the bag completely enclosed okay, there's one side complete so I'm just gonna continue on go down this way pull this back and put the metal on the inside. Just keep going all the way around until you're done with this bag. Okay, there's the back side. Almost done. Just one more side to go, and then we can attach this bag to the There it mower. is, the complete bag that's put on the frame. Now let's go put it on the mower. Okay, so I'm gonna put the bag on the mower now. So I'm gonna lift this up, and I'm gonna put these two pins, I'm just gonna rest it on the inside of this. Just rests right there. It doesn't go into anything. It's just going to rest right there. Push, push this panel down and make sure it's complete there. And that's it. Okay. So I'm getting ready to start this lawnmower for the first time, and I see on here that Troy Build has this uh, two-pull starting promise, uh, some kind of guarantee. I'm not really sure what that's about, but I'm going to go ahead and. Uh, uh, Try to start this up. I already put gas in it, and I'm going to start okay, it up. The right instructions now. to start this. This is going to be the very first time I try this. The, the instructions are to check the oil. I did that. Check the gas. I put gas in it, and then uh, the third thing is to hold the, uh, hold down the engine control handle, and that would be uh, this one right here. This is kind of like a that's like a, a kill switch right there, and to go ahead and just uh, pull the starter rope uh, one to two times. First time. What? 